Yeah, first time here. I really had nothing planned, but you guys needed people, so let's see how this goes. Um, all right, so a few years ago, I was turning 30, um, and I really made a big deal out of it in my head. Um, I was like obsessed with this, so, like this is a big milestone. I'm getting old now, and I see a lot of people in this room who walk this earth longer than me, who are just like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> but I did. I built it up. I was like, this is this is a huge birthday. It's a huge deal. Like, what does this all mean? Um, so I actually had to work on my birthday. Um, so I get up. I get up in the morning, and I go in the bathroom. You know, do your morning business. And I'm. I'll be frank right here. Okay. I trusted a fart. <laughs> and it betrayed me. Okay. And so I was like, whatever. So I have in the shower, and I, but I'm going to where the whole time I'm thinking, I was like, I'm 30. And I'm getting so old, like, my, my body is already, you know, just decaying. I was like, I, just, I can't believe this. Like, I am a hot mess. Like, this is ridiculous. Okay. So, so here's the thing. So I'm, I'm a paramedic. And so I'm going into work, and I'm just like, people trust me. It was like, for the next 24 hours, people are going to invite me into their homes. But I just pooped myself this morning. <laughs> like, I have no credibility. <laughs> so then I get to work and they tell me, okay, well, hey, you, here's your student. You have a student today. And then internally I'm just like, oh, this is even worse. You know, so we go and we start going over the truck and checking stuff. We're talking about medications and pharmacology. And the whole time my, my inner dialogue or my, inner, my monologue is just like, you know, well, actually be a dialogue I'm talking to him. It's like, don't listen to me. Like, don't listen to me. I pooped myself this morning. Like, I have no credibility. Like, oh, every word I say is just, you know, shot. Um, so we're doing that, and then, you know, I'm struggling with this internally, and then uh, a short while after that, we, we get a call. And it's for a, uh, a guy having chest pain. Run of the mill thing when it comes out. You know, we, we get there and we pull up, and it's this guy, he was working on a house. He was like a contractor. He's sitting on the front steps outside of this house. Um, and we pull up, and I can tell he's a hot mess. Okay, he's he's white as a ghost. He's sort of leaning over on the steps. I can see the sweat dripping off him. Um, you know, I know this guy's having a heart attack. We do. We bring him inside the truck, and the student puts him on. We do an EKG, and he's he's having the big one. You know, so I tell my partner, I was like, let let's go. Let's get to the hospital. We need to get into cath lab. Um, and uh, you know the student does a good job. And this is a student. He's you know he's he's very new. He's never even done CPR on anybody before. He does a good job getting the IV, um, and then at one point I just kind of look at the, the heart monitor and all of a sudden the rhythm has changed, and it's squiggly lines, okay, he's like, this guy just died. He's laying there, he's, he's unresponsive, and the student's looking at me like, what do I do? I was like, do CPR. So do CPR, and this is one of the most remarkable things that I've ever seen in my career. Um, he starts doing CPR immediately, and the guy wakes up. The guy's eyes open up, and he's staring at me, and he's screaming. There's just enough oxygen left in his blood because he, his heart had just stopped, that by the student doing the chest compressions effectively, it got to his brain and woke him up again. And the student's looking at me, and he was like, what is this? You know, they didn't tell me about this. What do I do? So we stopped. I was like, hang on. And he went right back out again. So I do it again. Keep going. So within a few seconds, I was able to grab the, the pads from our monitor and, and basically we, we shocked him. And um, so we did a little bit more CPR and it was like every time he would do it, the guy would wake up. And it was this crazy thing though too because he's doing chest compressions. He's pushing this guy's chest while he's... So he's screaming, but he's going, it's like, a, it's like, ah, 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 ah. It's the eeriest sound ever. But we did that, we shocked him. Within seconds, he woke up. He was talking to us. So we got him to the hospital and we took him to the cath lab. And we're, you know, there at the, you know, afterwards, back in the, in the truck, me and the student were talking about going over this, you know, what, what happened. Um, it was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. And I'm thinking to myself, I pooped myself this morning. <laughs> but I think I'll be okay. 